All right, so today we're going to install the calipers and uh, we're going to put some new brake shoes on. Uh, this, uh, this is from a restoration, but if you already have existing brakes, uh, you, you're going to want to, uh, first thing is you're going to want to inspect uh, the state of this, uh, um, this disc. If it has grooves or, or uh, you know, lands or whatever, and it seems like it has those grooves in there, um, you're going to want to uh, uh, take it and have it turned at a, at a machine shop. Uh, in uh, this case, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. All I had to do was clean it off really good. Uh, so the first step in here is, you see how these, there's like little grease marks? Those, uh, we're going we're gonna to clean that off with a little bit of brake clean. All right, so when you're doing the brake clean, make sure you have a rag ready because this stuff evaporates really quick. You want to get it all on there. Whoop. <laughs> Got stuck. And you want to make sure that you don't touch it while you're cleaning it. And all you're really doing on that is making sure that there's no kind of film or any kind of dirt or anything that can contaminate the brakes. All right, so once you're satisfied that that surface is nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and start putting those calipers together. Now, in a previous video, I, uh, I went through how to, how to rebuild and repaint your calipers. So these are nice and uh, compressed. But normally when you take your calipers off or when you get ready to change your brakes, you may have to compress these pistons to, to get room for uh, the new brake shoes. Uh, you can do that with a with a C clamp um, or a, a, a piece of wood. Um, any way that you can get in there without you know damaging any of the seals. But uh, basically, um, in order to make room for those brake shoes, you're, you may need to push these pistons back into their spots. So let's hang this thing. Okay, so making sure that we got the right shoe on the right side here. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I actually had the wrong caliper there. All right, so you want the uh, uh, the access port to be on the top for the. Um, uh, the brake line here. I'm gonna lightly tweak this baby. All right. That is where that goes. Whoops. I forgot. I need to put the little tabs on. Okay, so uh, on the inside of these calipers, I have a little uh, device that goes underneath these, these bolts, right? And you put these on and then you bend these tabs up. And the idea behind that is you'll keep the, the bolt, those bolts from backing off. So let's get that done first. moving okay this is just finger tight I'm gonna tighten that up as we go
Okay, those bolts are to be torqued to uh, 45 foot-pounds max, 40 to 45 foot-pounds. Let's see if I can get my torque wrench in there. Go. Properly torqued. All right, let's see if we can bend those tabs. If you get back in there, you can see them really well. Right here, you can just give them a tap, a little screwdriver, and a hammer action. Just want to find what the, one of the flat surfaces on the uh, bolt. Mash that so that it's flat against that. Okay. And then the bottom one, same deal. There's a flat surface here. Okay, then I'll lock that in place. That's not going anywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and put these shoes in. Now, the trick with these shoes is, um, I don't know if you've ever been in a car and when you put the brakes on, you hear a little ee, a little squeak or something. And what happens with that, and again, you have to be careful not to touch the, uh, uh, the surface here. You're trying to keep that as clean as you can. But what happens with that is the brake caliper rides on the on these outside edges and the piston pushes inside on these edges and so what happens is uh, over time that's metal on metal and it just moves a little bit and that little squeak is enough to be annoying to most people <laughs> um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to put a little bit of lubricant on there this stuff is uh um it's uh moisture proof it's uh uh it's, it won't wash off and it's um it's also, you know, it resists the heat of the brakes. So you just get a little packet of this stuff. It's really cheap. You don't have to buy a whole bunch. And uh, we're going to apply it in the places on where the piston is going to touch and on the ends here where the caliper, where, where it kind of sits in the groove for the caliper up in there. Um, and then we're going to just use this little tab on the end here and slide them babies right in there. Um, and then we'll get to, uh, to the next little piece here. So let's go ahead and lube these up and see if we can get these to hang without needing any kind of tape or anything. All right. around where that piston is going to go and we'll put a little little touch on the ends where it's going to sit around the caliper okay I'm trying not to touch the outside edge now that I got greasy fingers all right slide that baby in there one in okay and this uh, 
The thing about these uh, brake shoes, you can see they just kind of sit in there. It's probably the only part of the car that's connected with with no fasteners. Um, it just uh, it just kind of floats in there uh, between these retaining pins. But I'll show you in a minute how those screws go on. I'm gonna go ahead and lube this one up. <laughs> this packet's enough to do both. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff. On the ends where the calipers got to touch. This will keep them from squeaking. It's not the same as uh, uh, squeaky brakes or when your brakes are worn and um, the pressure where you get metal on metal, um, it's not the same kind of squeak. It's just uh, when you get to the end, if you hear that little squeak, just a little creak at the end, all you need is a little lubricant in there and that stuff, uh, that, that noise will go away. All right, let's slide this one in there. Like a champ. Okay, so uh, the fasteners uh, to hold those in place are basically just these little springs. Um, you can see these. Uh, you uh, order up these spring kits. I'll put a, uh, a link in the description. Uh, these little springs are they're asymmetrical. They have a, a long tab and a short tab. The long tab will go toward the, the middle. So on the top, it'll lay like this. On the bottom, it'll lay like that. And uh, these springs will uh, actually be a, a good telltale when, um, when you get to the point where you're getting low on, uh, on life on your brakes. Um, but you can see I have a little channel on the back right here. That's where this baby's gonna go. It's gonna lay right across there, it'll go right through this hole and just lays across there and holds that in place. So let's go ahead and set this in. Just a little cotter pin, not real complicated. That sets that, that one in place. And again, on the bottom, you want the long tab inward. And lay this one in here. The potter, cotter pin goes across the top. Boink, just like that. I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers and we'll bend those down. And we'll tighten up this connector. Okay, let's get these cutter pins bent. Oh, I need a little heftier pair of pliers. Manly pliers. Here we go. My goodness, what did it take to bend a cotter pin? Okay, let's have a <laughs> let's see if we can get this cotter pin to bend. Is not going anywhere. All right, so let's see if we can learn our lessons on this one. The trick here was just to put a, a flat screwdriver between the two bases itself. That will get you close to the uh, to the fulcrum right here, and you can bend that. Once you get it to where it's bending, then you can finally convince it with some pliers. Boy, that was a lot harder than I thought that was going to be. Okay, so there you go. The technique again on that. Put a standard screwdriver between the two faces and bend the large one up. Uh, and then that'll get it to the point where you can, you can finally bend it with some pliers. 
That was a lot harder than I figured. All right, so uh, let's tighten this baby up and we'll be done. All right, oddly enough, this is a 15 millimeter. Put a little torque on this. That is going nowhere. All right, so there you go. That is uh, brake shoes and brake caliper installed on a 1977 MGB Roadster.